Hi, welcome to GTSR. The overall purpose of this project is to develop autonomous blimps to support the development of control, sensing, and communication algorithm for mobile sensor networks that collect data in the air or underwater. We choose blimps because autonomous blimps share a lot of similarities in terms of dynamics with underwater vehicles. The overall system consists of multiple blimps and a central control station. The module design of the onboard electronics allows the blimp to carry different payloads for specific missions. In this demo, the robot receives and executes command from the control station and sends measurements back. After the blimp was fully built, controlling its motion was the next step. Using system identification, a mathematical model of the blimp's heading angle, or yaw, was created. From there, a PID controller was implemented to control the yaw. In this demo, we can see the blimp maintain a desired reference angle of 90 degrees. Similar to your identification, a model was developed to control the altitude of the blimp as well. The PID gains were calculated using the PID tuner in MATLAB. In this demo, we see the blimp quickly responds to an external disturbance and stabilizes to maintain the desired altitude. When we design any source seeking algorithm, the first assumption which we make is that the robot or drone we are using is fully maneuverable. We want the robot to be able to go to any possible location on the search space which the algorithm decides as the next step. So we test the maneuverability of the blimp using waypoint control in which the blimp is given some waypoints and the blimp has to travel to each of these waypoints in a pre-specified order. The ocean is full of different kinds of data that we might like to collect including chemical data, biological, meteorological and acoustic properties. And for all of these, we care about how the measurements change over space and time. But the ocean is so large that we can only take measurements over a tiny portion of the area that we'd like to cover. So underwater vehicles need to collect data intelligently so that we can reconstruct a full picture of the ocean properties, given only a narrow slice of measurements. We can use the blimps to design and test different strategies for effectively sampling the ocean. And here we're using a light source to represent the quantity that we want to measure at different points in space. To operate under the vehicles, we often need the position of the vehicles, but unfortunately, GPS cannot be used while underwater. Instead, we can estimate vehicles' position while underwater using acoustic transducers to measure the distance between underwater and surface vehicles. We can emulate this on the blimp and omnibot using a microphone and speaker. As you have seen, control theory play a very important role behind all our accomplishments on this fun autonomous blimp. The blimp is lightweight and safe to operate, and it can sustain flight for extended amount of time to support our lab experiments, which has been very convenient for us. So long.